it is that it <laughs> my week clock is way off as a matter of fact i'm gonna fix that <laughs> while i wait for everybody to get here um one second let me get my laptop ready Okay, there we go. While I wait for everybody to get here, I'm gonna fix my... You know, while we're here, I might as well do this too. <laughs> Twitch isn't telling me about when you stream for some reason. That's weird. Um, let's see. What was I gonna do? Wait, how do I change the clock? Oh, there. Time. It is... 8.53. Yes, this is important. And then date. It is in fact 425. Okay, there we go. Hi, Zeta. Okay. Now we play Mother 1 plus 2 plus 3. 854, but that's just a minute off. Yeah. Okay. Very normal stuff is going on, don't worry. So, last time we got the magic ant, uh... Why can't you skip Twitch ads? I don't know. I, I re <laughs> Twitch is a little bit... Oof. But I don't want to go back to streaming on YouTube. <laughs> You. What? You. There. Belch. Alien. Friends. Frog. Bike. Those are randomized every time, so I can't predict. Need to get the magic can. Mother three. I'm gonna do my best to predict which ones it's going to say each time. How successful will I be? I won't be. Let me know if audio is good, by the way. Audio seems fine. Sweet. <laughs> uh. Please work. <laughs> um. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Thank you, Mother 1 plus 2 plus 3. I have an idea of what might have happened. But it's just like a dumb theory. Also, my laptop is saying that what may have happened. Well, um, my guess is that when I threw my Wii remote down on my bed, it accidentally hit the home button. Or, it, uh, Friends. apparently for, maybe, like, somehow for putting it in wides, or putting it in 4x3, that somehow messed it up. Those are my only guesses. I'm really hoping that, uh, this doesn't not work, because I actually made a lot of progress yesterday. <laughs> Can use the classic controller. Okay. Okay. I think that this is working now.
Yay, it worked. Also, thank you, Sky. Look, he was walking. All right, cool. <laughs> that was that's a relief. I was kind of terrified for a moment. Okay, so last time we got to Magic Ant, uh, I spent like an hour trying to get to the zoo. Can you move out of the way, please? Uh, what's this guy say again? I forget. Would you like me to give you the big bat? Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, he gives you a really good item for later. To return your fetch card, I gave you the big bag, a gift for you. Good. Um. Nice. N nice indeed. Okay. Wish I could go into the castle to take Queen Mary. Oh, I know who that is! Pull out a red weed and place it in the fountain. Return to the magic herb. Oh! Who's in here? Oh yeah, this is the lady who puts the earring into the well. The Nintendo sprite while I was loading kind of messed up. Yeah. Kinda. I think that it might have been the fact that it was, um... It was walking, but it wasn't bobbing up and down. I noticed that that's a very subtle problem that some games have. My, what strange clothing you wear. Surely monsters will come after those clothes. Mm-hmm. I'm so embarrassed. I wish you could have crawled into a hole. <laughs> oh no. What? The big bag with infinite medical herbs. Yeah! That's what that- that's what that item is. It's so good. Alright, that's the person you talk to to store stuff, I think. I'm the mysterious goods keeper. Yes. Please take this. And then... Also that. Because you don't need that for the rest of the game. I don't even know if there was a stripe. Might be that I... But what I... Think... I want this. Hmm. Weird. Okay. There is no exit from a place like Magic Ant. Ha ha ha! <laughs> outside, a world outside, what do you mean? I really like Magic Ant a ton in this game specifically. I think it's very interesting. You met a man that says who says you cannot part with someone you have not met. Yes, I tend to think the same way too. Deep in the woods is a guitar player who is a hermit. Not that bad looking mitt of a man. Best of all, he's quite the poet. Uh huh. <laughs> no. Sky quiet. Okay, wait. So. Are you bothered that unhappiness and misfortune search you out? Yes. If you desire to never find trouble, stay home. Hey. That's a pretty modern thought. Oh shoot, look at this guy. Shane Dragon said you're not from this place. He has different colors. Whack. I like it. Have you ever met the man who practices philosophy? He's so good at nicknaming. He uses such good taste. What? Or is he not liking Magic Ant? What? Magic Ant. <laughs> so, it reminds me of Jazzant. I bent my spoon and it's hard to use like this. Do you think somehow you can fix it for me? Yeah. Please fix it right away. Nintendo fix the spoon with PSI power. <laughs> Makes a million. Would you like to spend the night here? Yay. I love that one. Okay. I don't often go into all these houses and talk to everybody. Ocarina of Hope is finally completed. This melody can now flow out from it. Do you want it? Yes! You're pretty straight looking, straightforward looking. Wait. What? Oh, 
I only have the first three, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I only have the first three. Well, we will correct that soon. This is the person who can heal, like, your party members and stuff from death. Where's he used? That, yeah. This is this was to be a musical instrument store, but the ocarina that we ordered never arrived. So I've given up. Oops. Nobody tell her that I stole it. Okay, so they have shops here, right? But they they don't have an ATM or anything. Stream felt strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this guy is really difficult, from what I remember. Or not. When it's off to the side like that, that means that it can spawn another enemy. I learned that from Trevor Conroy. You really start to appreciate more of the interesting battle things in this game when you're playing on the original NES version, if you ask me. Because when you're doing the English translation, you're just blasting through every single battle. You're not paying attention to how each one works or anything like that. Except for the dragon fight. That one's hard. Ugh. Magic snail. I'm gonna get my water while this happens. Oh, it's taking like a long- no, stop, stop. <laughs> I, I only realized when I started attacking them. Maybe it's not the best idea to be fighting on auto. Okay, sorry, I just had to get up and get in the water. You're a pretty straight looking dude. Nice. Is Nintendo? Kill, 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 kill. So it's pretty early today. I don't know, Sky, they're talking about Nintendo, not me. <laughs> don't worry. Jeez, this is taking a while. I don't know what I was expecting from a magic snail. Okay. So... Hmm. Again, this is making the battles more interesting. Now I actually understand what these enemies are actually like, instead of them just all being the same. See? There you go. For all we know, Nintendo's by it, yeah. The benevolent old man. <laughs> yes, yeah, you need money, don't you? Yeah. Sweet. One, two, one, nine. Give me all. So this this guy's name backwards is Teddy Bear. <laughs> Now I can go get, uh, equipment from here. Here, magic ants, just like the real world outside. Just leave me with some cash and with a good you can dash. That has been referenced in a million different things. He does have a bicycle. No, that's Ness. 
Okay. So I actually forget what each of these do. I usually just buy the most expensive one. Um, one second. Starman.net. One second. Where is... Armor? I want to go look at what the magic coin does. When you use it, defense really goes up. Okay. That'll be nice. Nest by? Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah, that, that's actually really good because that gives me 20 defense. The downside is, though, is that I just used all of my money on that. Even if the pretty the bicycle is pretty much useful, useless after a while. Yeah. That is how it is. Four eyes. Okay, so what's this thing's deal? Okay, that's so much nicer. <laughs> not having to worry about defense like that. Or not have to worry about it so much, at least. Feels nice to not be taking a million damage and only doing one back. <laughs> Okay. That wasn't what I wanted. It's four eyes. That really was not what I wanted. Jeez Louise. Okay. Okay, yeah. Discovery. Playing the NES version is a lot more interesting and fun. <laughs> than just blasting through the Game Boy version with the easy ring. It's also a lot more challenging. Wait, what? How does the magic fountain work? Oh, you walk into it. I regained my strength at Queen, Mary Queen Mary's Fountain. Whoa. There are, great there are great many holes east of town. The sound of another world can be heard from one. Well, Okay. So I can take on this guy. Oh, shoot. I swear, it feels like some- I know that this is not what's happening, but sometimes, like, it feels like my GameCube controller vibrates whenever I get attacked. <laughs> I know that they literally can't make that happen. Unless they rewrote the entire game, but that would still be so cool if, like, they rewrote the game and made it so that they could do that. Maybe Nintendo could do that sometime. Nah, they wouldn't. Oh wait, no, that's the- that's the guy with the ocarina. Who's the one that lets me stay with them? What heck? Wait, which one? Okay, so wait, was it this one then? No. Well, where's the one with the spoon guy? Um... There it is. Hi there. One moment. July 27th, 1989 is when the game came out. Okay. So my plan is... Also got the JPUS hybrid state sprites I made. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Okay, so here's my plan. On July 27th, I want to play Mother 25th Anniversary Edition because I've heard that one is weird and I want to see how weird it is. Or, not weird, but like, different. Because I've never played it before. But I, I, would, I do want to check it out. It's got square trees, yeah, I know. I know that. And I know that the Mook Sprite looks marginally better, but that's about it. 
Oh yeah, and also they redid everything and it looks ugly. That too. I'm joking. Like they they did a good job on the sprites, but it just doesn't have the same charm as the original. Like you can't you can't redo the sprites of the original mother. It it does the sprites are well made though. Like I no I'm not saying the artists are bad by any means. It just doesn't fit the original style of the game. You know? They don't look- yeah, they don't look like Mother Sprites. That's what I was trying to say. Oh shoot, we need to get the Flying Man. So, fun fact. This- this isn't really a Mother 1 trivia thing, but in Earthbound, there's a debug menu, and in the debug menu, um... The muck in the hack isn't as terrifying, at least. Yeah, that's true. Um... What is it? What was I about to say? Oh yeah, in the debug menu of Earthbound, uh, the flying man <laughs> is referred to as the frying man, which I think is really funny. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's all. I'm the flying man. My de my destiny is to help you. So do they actually play the flying man song in this game? I don't think they do. Until like way later, at least. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to. No. No, thank you. <laughs> Funny as of mistranslation. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Probably should have healed in between, actually. Hey, it's the thing a lot of had like to rename to like Territorial Oak when it's just supposed to be the Big Woodo. That's the name of it. You can't call it anything else. <laughs> Mm. To treat some not an explosive tree, except it does explode though. Uh, so yeah, it still does explode in this game. But yeah, I, I think that the name of the widows is better. I, I like it more. I know it's dumb, but well, it is a tree stump. Yeah, not a not a an oak tree. I like the walking man sprite when it's going down. It looks funny. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh shoot, I was gonna go put the red the red weed in the fountain. That's what I was gonna go do. Okay, well you know whatever, it's fine. We'll just go to the castle already. Uh oh. I have to talk to this first. Suspicious man, I'll let you pass if you can solve this riddle. And then you use telepathy. That's right, the answer is two alligators. Although I haven't come with the riddle yet. I love that line so much. It's so good. I can't remember the lyrics to this one, but I used to listen to it all the time. I wish I could hear the queen sing again. I really like the design of these guys. I think they're really neat and cool looking. There's official art. You know what? No, wait. No, there's there's official art of these guys that I want to show you guys really quick. That I really, really like. I have it saved to my computer. I remember this. Let's 
Let's hope I can find it in a decent, in a timely manner. There it is. I really like these little dudes. They're neat. <laughs> I like them. I want to draw them more. Anyways, that's all. I just wanted to show you that really quick. Yeah. I, I found this website that has like all the official Mother One art. And I think it's so neat. It's called Mother Forever, I'm pretty sure. It pleases me to see that kind of stuff. Anyways. Queen Mary often has nightmares. Is this, is this holding a naughty child? She cries out, I'm scared, I'm scared. And then she starts to sing just a little bit. Then she forgets the tune and wakes in a sweat. wonder what sad experience has done this to Mary. Oh dear. I know what's happened and it's really sad. Queen isn't feeling very well. All of us know you don't belong here. We consider you one of us. With the Onyx hook, you can warp here, back here anytime. Promise me that if you need help, you will return. Everyone loves you, Nintend. Uh, I don't have the Onyx hook yet, though. <laughs> okay, so what is the Onyx hook supposed to look like exactly? Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick look at the official art site really quick and see if they have a picture of it. I've always wondered this, because I always imagined it as, like, the Magic Ant Stone thing that they have, like, the little pink one. But I don't think that there's any official art of it anywhere. On the hook. So what's it supposed to look like? I don't know. Anyone have any ideas? <laughs> Welcome, Ninten. You're a magic ant. Everyone is your friend. You can have as much as you'd like. Whatever you want. What? You want to listen to my song? Sorry, I don't know why, but I just can't sing. I beg you to learn the melody. It's only eight notes long. That is not true. It's actually eight segments long. Eight measures. Is what that's called. When you learn all of them, return and sing them for me. If only I could hear that song. I know the song. I can sing it for you. Sing, um... No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> My throat is too messy at the moment to sing. They add more rooms in the Game Boy Advance version? Wait, what? Oh no, they're here. I I, I was a little bit confused. Yeah, here we go. Mom, there. Then she got it changed in the US version because. Huh? She apparently, in the original 8, Ellie isn't known by Nintendo. Oh, that's interesting. Also, hi, Tracy! Hi! Oh. <laughs> Open the present. They wanted to make the XX stone not be useless. Yeah. There was a bullhorn. Whoa! Decoration only on the Famicom. Yep. Antidote. Man, a bunch of lame items. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yeah. So there's a certain item coming up that I really want to get, because it's like the best attack item for Nintendo. There was Antidote. Okay, thanks. 
Let it be useless. Yeah. George is lame. Second best. Oh yeah, and then there's the bat. Well, the the boomerang is the best for a long time. The flash dark. I'm gonna use this. It was magic herb. Wow, thanks. Do I really need the antidote? Like, the XX ones. Yeah, there's also a new item added in the Game Boy Advance version called the mic or the memory chip that you get that lets you go back to Magic Ant. Uh, that lets you go back to the spot where Eve dies. Okay, wait one sec. I. I know where this is, but I just want to make sure because you don't get another chance to get it, and I just want to make sure that I'm not missing it this time. I know which one it is, but I'm not... Okay, yeah, I thought so. Top left. Yeah, I thought so. There's Boomerang. Yep. And then this is going to be the item that we use for, like, the rest of the game. <laughs> Eve over George. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me out. See you later. See you later, Space Noodle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was- that's Tracy's offline, uh, picture. He made a cool robot. George is fine, if you ask- yeah, but he- <laughs> Maybe it's just, like, my instincts from playing Cogdis, but, uh, George- Not anymore, but he used to be. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Yeah, George, uh, is terrible and messed up Boogie. But yeah, Eve is cool, at least. I'm gonna drink some water. <clears throat> Ow. George caused the entire conflict in the Mother series. George didn't view it as good at that game? No. Play Cogdis. Yeah! Cogdis is so good. Trust me. It really is. It's a really interesting game. And, uh, it's the second game to make me cry, so... That the alien invading Earth caused- Well, George was the one who made them want to invade Earth. <laughs> like, in the past, because he was the one who stole the stuff from the Geeks, and then the Geeks got angry at him, and then... Uh... I don't want to get into spoiler territory yet, though. <laughs> yeah, George caused all the problems, pretty much. When they came to the planet to kidnap him and his wife? I won't spoil anything, but they, they view it as differently in Cogdis. Okay. Wow. I, I'm getting beamed here. I'd like to not have that happen, maybe. <laughs> You were fine in space, yeah. Okay. Okay. This fight kind of. No, I'm out of here. Bye bye. Please let me leave. Okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> sure. 
Shout out to George, I think it's good to cause problems. <laughs> you tell him, Nolly. So, hi. Didn't want to be on their planet, we felt the need to escape, so I don't know if him or Maria were fine. Well, Mia Maria was fine, because she was taking good care of Googie. Yes, it's glass! Whoa! <laughs> I keep forgetting that I did that. Comedic genius. <laughs> so yeah, George didn't like being with the aliens, but Maria did, and then... Maria took good care of Gigu, and then George... went, and... yeah. Was she doing so well? Probably. <laughs> Sound like Gig hurt her? No. I, the whole reason that uh, things turned sour was because George uh, stole stuff from the geeks. From what Mary says, as magic camp vanishes. It is. She just misses him. How rough he was as a baby. Really? I don't remember that. Oh shoot, this thing. Epilepsy warning, by the way. Be careful. I should have mentioned that. Either way, I think that the loose ends tied up in uh, Cogdis are really well explained. Although some of them do conflict with... Wow, I've never had Thunder be this accurate. I hate it. Okay, well, even... I, I, I do... I do understand where you're coming from, Tracy, because I think that some of them do conflict with, like, the official stuff, but I still think that they're both interesting stories. And it might just be my <laughs> my alien heritage that makes me want to side with Giku here. <laughs> Man, I hate this. What? Again, I've never had Thunder be this accurate. I don't know if it works differently in this game compared to Mother 2. But, PSI stone. Shoot. Am I ready to fight the fish? What is- how does this work again? Let's, I don't remember how the flash dart works. The fish! Okay. Yeah. Well, that went really well. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting the flash dart to be that good of an item. Oh, 
Okay. Cool. There is Onyx. Great. Forgot about that. Oh, the Flash Shark is reusable? Okay. That's nice. Flash Shark is secretly epic. Indeed. Okay, Tracy, tell me, is there any way to beat, is there any way to get to Gigas or Gigu with, um, what is it? What am I thinking of? Teddy, is there any way to get to him with that? <laughs> Call him Greg. <laughs> Yes? How? It's like, Teddy's kind of useless for a long time. <laughs> nice. Just Ninten and Teddy, or with... Just like... Is there any way to get Teddy in any combination of characters to Gaius? Or Gigu? I don't know. I like... I like Giku, even though it's kind of a weird name and kind of unofficial. <laughs> My conversation is all always a monologue. I've been alone from the moment I was born. <laughs> How is that possible? Lucky, unlucky, it makes no difference to me. Sometimes even breathing becomes too much. Why do you insist on talking to me? We have forgotten man too. Yeah. Don't give me that garbage, just leave me alone. Well But don't you need Lloyd to actually like get the boat running and actually get to like the secret lab and stuff? Gigu isn't really unofficial, yeah, but it's more consistently been referred to as Gig. You do need Lloyd for that, yeah. Oh, but then you can go back and get to- Oh, that's smart! I didn't think about that. Okay. So, who comes and save you- comes and saves you if you just take- Lloyd with you when you go to and you go fight a R7078 then who comes wait what hmm can't trigger that encounter. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing I was talking about in the last stream. There's the dinosaur, look! <laughs> it's a stegosaurus. I was talking about this last stream. It looks like a stegosaurus. Yeah. This one is even more so. The hill? Yeah, the cliffside. It always looked like a stegosaurus to me. Dinosaur. I was picking on that weakling, Lloyd. You got away. I'm picking on... <laughs> 
terrible. I hate children. Dandelion seeds up into the sky. I love music most of all. You know, I say... I say I hate children, but... And, like, you're like, okay, that's kind of weird, Methy. Why did you say that? Children are still like that in my, like, school. It's not cool. Oh, shoot, I got a cold. Twin sanity, nice. Uh, I say go for it. I really dislike kids. Same! Wow. Great, now I have a cold. Okay. I could just go back to Magic Hand if I wanted to. Plastic bat. Wow. Okay, I wish I had actually gotten the antidote now. Slingshot. I used to be one. Yeah. Small children are bleh for the most part. Yep. I'm gonna die of a cold. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Magic Hand. Is this a waste of time? Yes, but I'm absolutely going to go do it. Because this is my backup plan for whenever I take any sort of damage in this game. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that, Tracy. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna look at the custom Nintendo. Neat. I like it. So I, I have tried to use NES palette editors to make a custom Mechi sprite. It doesn't work. Because of the way that colors work, uh, like even though it has all the right colors for it, uh, the top half of Nintendo only has like the skin color, and then um, the skin color and the color of the hat, and then the bottom half only has like red and or no, the bottom half has blue. You get what I'm trying to say. It's weird, and I can't make it work for Machi. So, is the whole joke... Okay, here's an idea that's been rattling around in my head for the past few months. Is the joke of Nintendo having a huge head supposed to be a reference to Lucy calling Charlie Brown a blockhead? Since <laughs> all the character designs in this are based off of the Peanuts. Or a lot of them, at least. Or, like, you know, it took inspiration from it, I mean. That's always been, like, my explanation for why it looks weird like that. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a continuous attack. Never mind. See that slick diagonal movement? Again, be careful, epilepsy warning for that.
Oh, boy. Another one of these things. So this is called a lynx in the Japanese version, I'm pretty sure. Or it's called a cougar here. I could be wrong about that, but I do seem to remember it being called something different. So, now I'm not going to go get a cold immediately. And just go get Lloyd. <laughs> of course the door to the roof is locked. We can't have students sneaking up to play, out to play games. They should be studying, you know? Yes. It's not that big of a problem. My wife is a big problem. She doesn't get out of bed until it afternoon each day. She won't even pack me a brown bag lunch. Isn't that just horrible? Yes, then when she does get up, she goes shopping. Luckily, I hid the credit cards from the- Jeez Louise. That should have a question mark at the end. No, when she was young, she was very pretty. Come to think of it, she's not that bad after all. Would you like some tea? Y yes. So you need to go up to the roof? Follow me. So you can hold B to make this go faster, but you can't do that in the, in the uh, Game Boy Advance version. My wife has, was the very first Miss Marysville in history. Okay, hot take. I think I said this yesterday. I prefer the the localized names for the towns instead of um, having them all named after holidays. I think that that's way more interesting. Also. This is a good screenshot moment. I really like this this shot. It looks good. Who are you? I won't come out. If I do, everyone else will pick on me. You want to be my friend? Don't tell anyone, but I stole some explosives. Yes, just, I'm coming out now. Holiday names are eh, yeah. Hi, I am Lloyd. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets. That the sweet little factory was producing. He says different stuff in the Japanese version. Originally, the bug feature that they left in because it's good. Huh. That's interesting. Where'd you hear that from? I don't think I've ever heard that before. That's really neat. I look a blue haired girl. That's not very often. Why'd I check? You are late, aren't you? She is she supposed to be a teacher? Played Super Mario Bros. 7? What? Granddad 7? What? I don't remember this! I'm still playing Super Mario Bros. 3. It's been... I don't remember that. That's cool. Is she a strange man in the lab? Oh, I saw him. <laughs> I totally forgot about that line. That's neat. Can you please move out of the way? Oh. Thank you. Mmm, soft lock. I can't do a cartwheel. Same. I still know how to carry over and subtract from me. I... Okay, we were talking about soft locks, but... Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks. They changed it in the GBA port. Didn't know that. Huh. Saw Lloyd steal explosives. I'm afraid of what Mr. Teacher will say. Hold on, wait. Oh, I felt a sneeze. <laughs> 
Help. Oh my god. Please move. Thank you. Wow, soft lock. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize how cramped those get. Goodness. I felt a sneeze like just sitting in my nose for like a solid 10 seconds, maybe longer. Eagle A and Eagle B. Oh no. Am I ready to fight these guys? Oh. Okay. B Eagle. Help. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to survive this. Uh, I need to heal immediately. No! That was the worst thing that could have happened! Okay. Great. Beagle. I'm gonna redo my hair because I put it up in a very sloppy, like, with a, I put it up very sloppily with a hair clip, and it's a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna do the tried and true. I think in Japan it was Dragon Quest. Yeah, Dragon Quest was a huge deal in Japan, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt them putting a reference to it in this game. <laughs> Dragon Quest still is a huge deal, as a matter of fact. I'm not a huge fan of fantasy RPGs, but I really gotta check out the the older games for Dragon Quest. I like the cute holiday names. Eh, I think that they're fine, but they don't stick out as much to me. Like, they're not as interesting. I think that the joke of LA being, like, the huge city is really, really clever. <laughs> I was so proud of myself for figuring that one out on my own. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I went up here. Spookane. Yeah, I like Spookane, too. That one's more interesting than just Halloween. I think it sounds cool. And anyone who has played... who has seen me play Animal Crossing knows that uh, I have used Podunk as my town name for, like, almost all of my Animal Crossing towns since 2015, 2016, I think. I, I also use reindeer for all my town, town names too, since I like that one. Wow. Okay. I usually don't have a problem with the encounter rates in this game, but that <laughs> one encounter for for three steps in a row. That that was a little bit oof. Okay, I should probably save at the department store and... Once we get teleport, using the onyx hook to get back here is gonna be, like, amazing. Department store spook. Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, 
More iconic boss than Belch. Yep, definitely. <laughs> well, not really, but kind of. <laughs> okay, Tracy, important question. We've been looking for, um, to see if, like, there's any official art of the Mooks for Mother 1. Because we can only find official clay models for the Mother 2 ones. And I feel like if anybody would know, it would be you. <laughs> Something funny that happened, by the way, one time when I was playing the Game Boy Advance version, um, I got an encounter on the same frame that I touched the loading zone for this door, and, um, I like a lot- I like Mooks a lot more than what I'm pretty sure is just a literal- yeah, that's true. But a lot of people- a lot more people know what Master Belch is than a Mook, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe not. Okay, yeah, 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 you got a point. I know I certainly like the mooks a lot more. But, uh, that loading zone for that door in the end of uh, Crystal Caves, one time in the Game Boy Advance version, I got an encounter on the same frame that I touched the, uh... the loading zone, and... It let me walk past and go out of bounds. It was really whack. I have a clip of it somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure I posted it to Tumblr. That's where I post everything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they use Belch in marketing. Yeah, I, I I don't know what they were thinking with the marketing in Earthbound in uh, America. But if anybody if anybody has seen the box art for Jack Bros for Virtual Boy, you will know that uh, America really likes to mess with Japanese designs for some. For some reason. Yeah, that is absolutely the reason why it didn't sell well. Because they marketed it with that. That's a pretty well-known thing. So, wait one second. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about with Jeff Bros, by the way. One second, let me get this really quick. Okay, so you guys know this guy, right? 
this thing from Persona. Well, you know at least what it looks like, right? It's supposed to look like that. Um... So, let me show you what it looks like when they localized it to America. And made the same character again. This one on the the far left, this is supposed to be the same character as this. How did they do that? Why? What the crap? Yes, indeed. I love localization. Alright, back to the game. <laughs> U.S. art is ugly. Yep. That's worse than Sonic with a mohawk? What are you talking about? Yeah. It's... It's, it's almost as bad as... Uh, the Japanese tulip box versus the American one. The American one is so ugly compared to the really beautiful art that's on the the Japanese one. I can't be bothered to buy Japanese games though. And these box art in the USA give SCP toolkit? Shut up. I, I don't need my PS3 controller on my computer right now. I'm gonna go look this up, though. Okay, yeah, that's pretty subtle, but it's also pretty ugly. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I hate that. I don't like Sonic's design to begin with, so... Yeah, definitely. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. No! Ah! Okay. <laughs> That's why you need to pay attention to what you're doing. You should get Tulip. Definitely. It's on the PS3 store, and since the PS3 store isn't shutting down anymore... That could be good. Oh, I forgot to save in the department store at Marysville. Okay. Actually, wait. Um, I'm gonna actually go check it. Check and see what the gold ring does. Ooh, I want that. Okay, I'm gonna go get the gold ring actually really quick. That gives you a lot of defense, so yeah, I'm gonna go get that, definitely. Ironically play- Shadow the Hedgehog has a decent concept. I will give it that. As somebody who does not like 
uh, Sonic or the edgy Shadow the Hedgehog thing, it has an interesting concept and isn't as bad as people consider it to be, <laughs> from what I've seen. Shadow the Hedgehog even came out in Japan, actually, now that I think about it. I wonder what the box art looks like there. Okay, this is just gonna be me looking up Sonic box art. One second. Did it come out in Japan? Wait. Wait, what? Uh... Oh, it did, okay. So yeah, it just looks the same, never mind. <laughs> the gameplay doesn't seem that bad from what it- Yeah. It, it really doesn't look like the worst thing of all time. It does look- It could use some work, though. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> not raw edge from what I'm aware of my legs actually feel smooth for once that's nice Sonic Adventure it seemed more linear than Sonic Adventure from what I remember at least okay, is this the one who send sells the pendants Yeah, it is. Okay, I thought so. Give me the gold ring. Oh. I'm saving the wooden bat so I can sell it later. Mm. Not what I wanted to do. Wait. I'm gonna go to the storage person really quick. How is it that we always end up talking about Sonic on stream? That's my question. <laughs> I I don't I don't mind as much as I sound like I do though. Like it's fine. <laughs> okay, now I have like Omega Defense. That's nice. Okay, so how did the pendants give you defense? No, it just protects you against certain PSI. They sell itself for 700. Yeah, it, it's fine. I don't mind really. Okay, so hopefully having more defense will be helpful. Ba 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 
What are you guys up to? Oh boy, I'm not trying to think if there are any characters with the green set. Hmm. I'm sure that there are. I could probably think of a few if you gave me like a few minutes. I'd have to really, like, push my memory, though. I'm sure there's some Pokemon with it. Shiny Grovile, I think. That's really specific, so... Isn't Shiny Grovile, like, blue? Guys, look, it's Zarbul. Zarbul and Bosun. Now I'm going to go save at the department store so I don't make the same mistake again. Okay, wait, actually... I need to get a pendant soon, probably. Frisk is more of a mother pro tag design than Travis from Mother 4. Travis has jeans. Well, that's new, Trap. Oh, wait, no. Travis has always had jeans. Never mind. I think that they're trying to separate Oddity more from Mother because they don't want it to be Mother 4 anymore, I guess, maybe. That That's my guess, because they did change up all the character designs, which kind of bugged me a little bit, but because I really like Travis's design, but at the same time, it, it is nice to see a more unique one. So what kind of pants does Frisk wear then, if not jeans? I always imagined... What does Frisk wear? Wait. Oh my... It's been way too long since I've been in the Undertale. Into Undertale at all. The same color as their shirt. Yeah, that's right. Tori... Tori got me Undertale on the Switch a long time ago. So I could stream it, and then I never did. I really need to someday, though. I'll, I'll do it one of these days. I'm just real lazy. Nice.
Okay, will I actually be able to enter the factory this time? Gonna make sure you're not way behind right now. Uh, we'll be able to tell by the time you read, or by the time you hear me reading that. Nice. Okay, it's time for Little Sweets Factory. I think I know the layout of this one. Sesame Street door to crossover ad. Huh. Interesting. Rat! Nesk and Friss. Yes. Oh. Both have pants that match the color of their striped blue shirts. <laughs> I wonder if one was based on the other. Is Ness actually Frisk from Undertale? No. Okay. I'd like to bring something to I'd like to bring something up. The the whole Ness's Sans thing. It's an interesting theory. But it's obvious that he didn't he was just drawing parallels, but he wasn't saying that, oh, this is definitive, and that, you know, like, I I will give Matt Pat credit where it is due. Like, he was not saying that Ness, Ness is Sans. He was just saying that, wow, look at these interesting parallels. Isn't this an interesting idea? Because that's all it is. It's a theory. Anyways. That is what I wanted to talk about. Just Sans is Ness. Well, it's a... That's like the title of the theory. It is a... Well, what would, what would you call it then? If you... If not that. I think it was Is Sansness. As in like a... He's proposing an idea. He wasn't saying that... Physical capsule. Oh, heck yeah. Game theory. Sans is secret idea. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit... Uh, but, I mean, it's a clickbait title. What do you expect? It was the same... <laughs> Game Theory also called uh, the Earthbound Halloween hack Undertale Origins. So I don't know if... We can really go by... Yeah, okay, never mind. I don't know where I'm going with this. That- that has still bothered me to this day, that they called it that. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit... That always did bother me. They put Papyrus in the thumbnail. They didn't even put Varric in there. Sometimes I forget that Varric was from a different game to start. Is there already going here? No. Butter knife. Okay, that's for Teddy later. That's why I was asking earlier if you can actually get Teddy there, because, like, I don't know nothing about. Earth and Halloween hack besides the final boss. I know a lot about it because I've beaten it like a million times. <laughs> it's an interesting thing. 
It's also really hard, but it's interesting. It's an interesting little side note. You know? Kind of edgy from what I'm aware. Yes, but it's... It's got an interesting story as well. And it is really disturbing. <laughs> like, some of that stuff really did put me on edge. It's a well-made thing, though. I like it. I'd recommend it. I really gotta participate in one of the... I really gotta learn to make a... What is it? I'm just gonna drop this. I don't want to run the risk of... Okay, there was a fight capsule. Nice. Yeah, I, I want to make a, an Earthbound hack at some point. Although, I really would prefer to make a Mother 1 hack instead. I think that, that would be really cool once we get the tools for that. Like a ROM hack of this game instead. But, uh, there are not many tools for that as of right now. Another one happy to be neat, but I don't think it's people interested enough to make tools, yeah. All the ones that I've seen are really old and archaic. But I think that someday somebody could make a really cool one. Um, I don't know, maybe I could study how the NES works and try to make my own tool. But I know nothing about programming. I don't know, maybe I'll start with Coil Snake and work from there. Cogged isn't earthbound. What? Did I already go in here? I think I did. Yeah. Okay, so I just went back down. I'm dumb. <laughs> Cogdis is an earthbound hack. That would be a nightmare <laughs> to make. But it would also be really cool. Like, is the Earthbound engine more powerful than RPG Maker 2003? Or unrelated note, this is one of the only things I've seen in Earthbound Halloween hack. Yeah, that... That sure was a part of that video game. <laughs> I do remember that. Which direction was I going again? Oh, here we go. This is where I need to be. Recovered 1 HP. Man. Went into a boss fight. No, it didn't. It didn't. I know. I know for a factoid it did not. Yeah.
So here's the question. Would it be faster to just use the... The Onyx Hook to go back to Magicant and go back from there? Or would it be faster to just... Get out of here, like, by going... I'm, I'm just gonna use the Onyx Hook, I don't care. Earthbound is probably a better engine for Earthbound type games than RPG Maker. Yeah, but in some cases, RPG Maker might be a little bit more powerful and capable. You know? Like, some of the stuff that Cognis does is pretty interesting. And I think that it, as, as archaic as 2003 is, it's still, it's made for 2003, you know? Although I do think that having a, a full hack like that, that recreates Cogdis and Earthbound, would be so sick. But you also have to take into account, like, can, can, like, the Super Nintendo even handle Cogdis at that point? If you were to recreate it? No, wait, no, 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 don't. Oh. Might have you screwed with some stuff, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if the Super Nintendo can handle Mario's Mystery Meat, which is a very impressive ROM hack, by the way, I think it could probably handle Cogdis now that I think about it. Cogdis on the Super Nintendo would be so cool. Yeah. It really would. I can't wait for 3.0. Tired. 3.0 is going to be using custom engine. Nice. I thought it was going to be using like a more recent RPG maker though. But either way, I'm excited for XP would be a nightmare to make it in. Oh, that would be so bad. No, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows how much I hate RPG Maker XP. It runs at such a ter- it runs at like 15 frames per second. It's like- Sorry, I'm, I'm fine. I th it's not even that bad of an engine, it's just that one thing that's- that really bugs down the whole experience. Like, I don't know. Never seemed that bad. Well, like, compared to other games, like, I don't know, it just makes it feel a whole lot less professional, if you ask me. I'm not usually one for frames. So the text is displayed. Yeah, that that is not... Mm. It might be that I've just never played a 
an exceptionally well-made game made in XP. Like, I love Mothlight and Orogenesis, but those games are both a little bit ratty. So, yeah. And those are both made in XP, and those are the only full RPG Maker XP games I've played. Uh, why didn't they go for letter by letter? Yeah, it's... oof. It does not look good. If you ask me, RPG Maker 2003 is the best looking one. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the sweet little factory was producing. Wow, this bottle rocket sure is to cause, sure to cause a bang. We might be able to make it more on our own. Come with me to the lab. Why do you get a, why do you have to get a plug in or something to do that? Yeah. Pokemon Uranium was an XP. What? No, no, it wasn't. No way. I've played Pokemon Uranium before, and it is not an XP. I would be able to tell. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard them. <laughs> Great, isn't it? What? Than that. Neat. And then you go back in and it's all just fine again. <laughs> I'm the mysterious teacher. I secretly live here. I need money for my research. Yes. Oh. Oh yeah, all of these are not good. Never mind. Pokemon Uranium. What? It was made in RPG Maker XP? No way. That's sick. Okay. Well, you have proven me wrong. Also, we get to listen to B and Friends. Heck yeah. When you're full of despair, that when somebody cares. I can't remember the lyrics perfectly. Please don't attack Lloyd. Um, like the Pokemon Essentials or something. Huh, interesting. It's just a Pokemon X. Pokemon engine for- oh, that's- that's neat. I do seem to remember reading about that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Magic Ant again. I'm the swimming cat. Have you heard of a magic candy that gives strength power to a helpless child? No. The boy with glasses surely could use the candy. Certainly. Okay. And then I'm gonna give that to Lloyd. Three or four hours of sleep. Jeez Louise, you should go to bed. Soon. Um, by the way... Please don't correct me on calling him Lloyd spelled like that, because that is actually how it's supposed to be spelled. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about, I think. Should but I'm not going to. I feel that. Yeah, I know. I figured it was sleep. I think it was Lloyd in Japan, but they changed it in Super Smash Bros. Yeah. The thing is, is that the reason that they spell it like that is because in Japan it's spelled uh, R-O-I-D, as in Royd. And then when they translated it to English, it was spelled the same way, but with L instead. Um, yeah. Trust me on this. I know my stuff when it comes to this game.
but I meant to be Lloyd the whole time. Yeah. Wait, this is the pendant one, never mind. And then what's the... How much is the other one again? Not mean to talk to that. Okay. One thing I always liked about this game is that, um... Whenever you don't buy something from the store, they actually kind of acknowledge it. I think that's really cool. <laughs> for some reason. That always stood out to me about Earthbound and this game. Yeah. Pokemon fan game with Pokemon Essentials at some point. But Pokemon is hard to make. Yeah, that too. You know, the Mother Vocal album really missed out on an opportunity to turn the Yucca Desert theme into, um... into a song. What one hard to make? Wait, what? What one is hard to make it what sense in not it? Something tells me you're more tired than you let on. <laughs> Man, can you just do the thing already, please, Groucho? Thank you. Because that gives you more EXP than just fighting it normally, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it instead of in. Pokemon is hard to make in what sense? Uh, you have to, like, make all of the... Like, if you're going to... Like, even just doing... Even just using the regular Pokemon designs that already exist... Um... Like, you still have to make all of those in the engine. And then, if you're going to make new designs, you also have to make a ton of those. Because you can't just make, like, two or three. Pretty much. I don't know. I feel like making a Pokemon fan game is, has all the sprites built in and whatnot. Yes, that's true, that's true. Or, oh, does it already have, like, all the stats built in, too? Oh, shoot. Intense, strong, and powerful ally, the brave soldier flying man, rest here in peace. Huh. Brother, my brother died in honor with combat. All I love you is buried in our cemetery. It is with great pride that I take his place by you. Aside from Gen 6 Plus, but someone has to, someone someone made an add-on. Oh neat. How many times have I hummed that song in this whole stream? More times than I'm willing to admit.
Alright. When you are lonely and full of despair Things are in the bad when somebody cares When you need it I, I, I can't remember all the lyrics, but I know like bits and pieces of it But I really like the vocal album version Okay Uh, Where do I go now? <laughs> I remember I was doing something Oh, I was gonna go get more money to buy equipment for Lloyd. That's right, that's right. Um... I did not mean to click on that twice. kind of want to make a Pokemon thingy with every Pokemon in it, besides ones from Jenny. Yeah, out of pure spite. Yeah. Jenny is, uh, not good. If you ask me. Okay. Uh, this is my best bet. Just do this. Oh, I should have guarded on Lloyd. Okay, that worked! Don't want to play, like, Gen 8 ever. Same. Okay, so this might be a problem. Um, how do, where do I get a weapon for Lloyd, by the way? I always forget. Like, that... One second. One second. Where do I get the air gun from? God, I forgot that they call this part of the game the Mislay Triangle. That's so cool sounding. Okay. Uh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One second. Where do I. Where do I get the air gun from? Does anybody remember? don't unfortunately dang okay um The reason I'm calling it that is okay, where do I get this thing? It can be bought in Youngtown for fourteen hundred. Great. Okay, I'm not ready to go there yet. Where do I get the stun gun then? The Marysville department store. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna go there. Okay, seeing all these old names again is really, really nostalgic for some reason. Like, the Mislay Triangle was a name that I haven't heard in a long time, and I, I remember really liking the name of that when I was a kid. I don't think I have enough money for it.
three. Okay, variety goods. Okay, I do have enough money for it, never mind. Now I'm gonna go get a bunch of, uh, bottle rockets from, uh, the Little Sweets factory. And then we will head out to Duncan's factory, I suppose. Or, no, by the time I get to s the rockets and sweet factory, I think I should have enough money to get the... The last piece of equipment I need for Lloyd. Okay. What are you guys up to? Wait, I should probably heal. I've been having a good time re uh, revisiting this game, honestly. How much at the moment? Same. It, it feels nice to play this game again, though. Okay, I just saw your message about Sonic 06. Yeah, I heard I heard that Sonic 06 was kind of a passion, passion project a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, Jenny does not look good. And it doesn't have Miss Magius in it, therefore making it invalid as a game. Yeah, they put effort into it, at least. At least some amount, yeah. Oh, I don't think I ever got this before. Life of Cream. Oh, nice! Not the game player plot, though, and certainly not the graphics. Yeah. Dang trees.
you you would think you would think that they would have fixed that by oh <laughs> you know i knew i knew it was gonna happen but i still got cut off guard by that um you would have thought that after like all the backlash they got for the original trailer of gen 8 uh They would have fixed it, but no. Polish should not be as broken as Gen 1. <laughs> yeah. Were there any glitches, though? That's the important question. of shiny Pokemon that has square shine. Whoa! Square sparkles. Whoa! Now that's new. It's meant to be rare, huh? Fun. Inverted the odds and like wild battles so like it's more common to have the square sparkles than the the regular ones then oh okay Got it. So, after this, so wait, as of now, this will be my fourth time fully streaming Mother 1. Because <laughs> there was the terrible stream in 2017, there was a terrible stream at the beginning of 2020, there was the PSI list challenge, and now this one, where I actually play the game. So, that's kind of weird. I remember I wanted to start Earthbound after finishing Mother 1 on stream in 2017, but um, I might do that this time as well. Like once I'm finished with this one, I also do... no after this one I'll do Cogdis because that'll make more sense uh, in order if I'm gonna play them in order. So yeah, that's my plan. Thoughts on that? Should I do like some in oh? Is this is new? I don't think I've fought this guy yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, no. Please don't do that. Mother 1, then Mother 2, then Cogdis. 
out of chronological order, but Cognis might be better with context. That's true. Yeah. That, that's the thing, like, do you play Cognis in between M1 and M2, or do you play Cognis afterwards, after playing Earthbound? So that you actually get some of the references in there. It's a hard choice. Okay, so I actually want to go get something really quick. Right, okay, I remember what it was now. Okay, good, they do sell it here. Dang it, I forgot. <laughs> uh... Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone I threw away the flash dark. Okay, now I can save. I'm thinking about playing Cogdis on stream next. Like, once I finish this game. Because then, if I play Earthbound after that, you'll start to get some of the references in Cogdis. You know? Okay, wait, I should probably heal. Ice the square shines. We're 15 and 16. Whoa, weird. I see your dad. No, son, it's not my business. Why not? No. It's interesting. After two hours, that's how. That's how long it takes. That's interesting. Of shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Definitely. Gen 8 is lucky to be on the era where you can update a game. I agree with that. Okay. This might be a problem. Never mind. Cool. Oof. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. You know, you really don't realize how much influence, like, how much is copied over from this game to Earthbound. Like, until you really think about it, like, those car enemies are repurposed into the mad taxis. Which I think is... Interesting.
BRB? Alright, I'll catch you later, Zeta. This factory is Mr. Duncan's private property. Let's see your pass. I was really hoping I could walk diagonally into it. Cause I know that sometimes you can do weird stuff like that in this game. Okay, where? Wait, where's the? Okay, there it is. <laughs> this pass is expired. You must have stolen it. Suspicious creature, look me in the eye. And then he just goes to fight Lloyd on his own. Just straight up a stray dog. I remember, I watched a long a video like a long time ago. Covering all the bosses in Mother 1, and that was one of the ones that it covered for some reason. Yeah, there aren't very many, like, real bosses in this game now that I think about it. Um... How much HP does Lloyd have? Oh wait, no, 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 this is the wrong way. So, you know, I could go through and get all the items and stuff, but I don't want to be here for, like, a year and a half. So I will not do that, and I will just take the fastest route, and then maybe come back off stream and get all the good items. Okay, so interesting thing about this Dr. Distorto spray. Um... I don't know if anybody can see it, but, like, the thing under, like, there's a button under, on his coat, underneath, like, the color on his right. And the way that it looked, I always thought that it looked like he had, like, a little okay sign hand, if that makes sense. I, I don't know why I always saw it as that. Uh oh, that's not good. Nice. AK Beam Alpha, that's not good. I remember asking somebody on Miiverse back when I played this game on the Wii U uh, why the The Franklin badge wouldn't deflect PK Beam Alpha. And I was explained to you that it only deflects Gamma and no other attack. Oh wait, speaking of which, I said I wasn't going to check the map, but I actually want to so I can go get the the other um, Franklin badge. Also, I'm going to also need to be a B. One moment.
Hello. I'm back. You may now resume. Okay. So, oh right, I was gonna go look for the uh, Duncan Factory Franklin badge. Okay, so... Where am I? I'm on that ladder, I think. Up, 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 up. So, right, left, right, left. Okay. Right. I feel like it's interesting how, like, the features on the scrapper only appear after the battle starts. That's an interesting little detail. Sure would have liked to get that on the scrapper, but okay. So now left and then right. probably heal. So, I beat the majority, on my first playthrough of this game, I beat the majority of the game as level 18. <laughs> the only part that I ever leveled up for was the dragon. And that was it. Everything else I did at level 18, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, uh, don't play Mother 1 like I did when I was a kid. <laughs> Please, I beg of you. Left. Fireball. Alright. See if I alpha. Twenty. Nine. Alright. Can you stop that, maybe? Please? Thank you. Okay, that was not very good. Oops. And left. And the Franklin badge should just be up here. How much you want to bet the battle rocket doesn't do anything? Okay, I'm gonna guard again. <laughs> God, this thing. Okay, this thing can be really dangerous if you're not careful. Luckily, 
I was. I was the more dangerous one this time. Not talk, check. Franklin badge. Nice. Okay, wait. Um, are there any other items I should probably get? Now that I think about it. Ooh, there's a ton at the very beginning. There's two bottle rockets over there. Super spray bomb. Bottle rockets again. Horse capsule. Yeah, I'll probably just go through and get all of these off stream. Because I don't think I'll need those. Okay. Actually, wait, where do I go now? Okay, so, go down. Got it. So I go all the way to the right from here. And... Then go up. And then we just go left for the rest of the time. At least I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm just gonna check one more time. Okay, yeah, I am. Can I just go left from here? Oh no! Okay, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> You know, this really isn't as bad as I remember it being, in all honesty. Okay. That's why you don't talk. Ever. Please take it out, Nintendo. Thank you. Okay. Pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> silly for thinking such a thing. Tori, are you hallucinating? Are you okay? So hi. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Show me. I'd really like to not get my face pummeled in by this robot, by the way. There we go. No face pummeling required.
Very nice. Am I not gonna have to use the bread cheese? Okay, wait, let's see. What'd you send me? Oh, nice. That's really cool. Okay. Could mantis but robot. Yes. You know, I say that I don't mind the encounter rates in this game, but I'm starting to remember why people have such a problem with them. Treatable laser beam. Yo, nice. Please don't kill Lloyd. <laughs> I've gotten this far and I don't- You know what? No. I'm backing out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm not taking any risks. I don't want to go through Duncan Factory again. <laughs> Please. Okay. I didn't have to- I didn't have to use the bread cheese that I wanted to. Or that I- or that I usually have to. Cool. And now I will go back to... Uh... I will go back to Magic Camp. And now I should have enough money for the, uh... The other equipment that I need. Sweet. Oh, right. I forgot you had to target them individually. I wasn't thinking about that. Magi can't do this anymore. Yep. People- I've heard people call it Magicent, which doesn't sound right to me. Like, I get why they do it, but it just... Mm-mm. Doesn't sound right. Magic, huh? Yeah, magicent. Because of the C? Yeah, they just. Mm -mm. Okay. Is telepathy. The benevolent old man. <laughs> the gold ring yeah so I just need to
get the magic coin. And I still have enough left over for a pendant. An appendage. <laughs> I'm going to buy an appendage off the magic black market. Okay, which one do I go with, though? <laughs> The H2O looks weird. I don't like it. I'm gonna go with H2O since I feel like PK Fire is more common than Freeze up until the the later parts of the game. Okay, use. Give that to Lloyd. like a million defense. Hopefully. Actually, I'm gonna go check and see how much defense he actually has. 65. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, do I really want to keep going? I've been going for two and a half hours now. Uh, hmm. No one's really watching anymore either. Unless somebody is. I made a lot of progress. Hmm. Well, I mean, where else would I go from here? Like, do I go to Anna now? I might go get Anna and then I'll end the stream. Because then we'll get to listen to Paradise Line. Please, thank you. encounters.
Works every time. What do like half of these stats even mean? Like what's the difference between force, strength, and attack? Like offense, fight, strength, and force. Those all sound like they could be the same thing. <laughs> you know? That's a problem I have with a lot of RPGs. They don't seem to explain how, like, their stats work, or, like, how status effects work, like, what, what status effects do what. Like, what does bleeding do in most games? And it's not a thing in this game, but that's one that's always been kind of ambiguous to me. Attack is how aggressive you hit, strength is how hard you hit, force is how fast- oh. I- I now understand! Thank you, Tori! <laughs> Thank you for clearing this up for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> save and then I'm gonna go to get Anna. Actually wait, is there anything to do in like reindeer? Like in between? Let me go look really quick. So snowman is obviously where we go get Anna. Okay, so, what even is in Reindeer? I love the place, but... Okay. I wish that more of the towns had a little bit more purpose, is the thing. Like, there's no real good items you can get in Reindeer, if I remember correctly. I don't know, let me go check really quick. I don't think so, at least. I don't know, maybe we'll scout it out off-stream, but... For now, I'm going to prioritize getting Anna. And then I'll get off, because I'm getting pretty tired. I still haven't learned Life Up Beta, by the way, which bo bothers me. I didn't mean to do that again. What? Okay. 
Oh, I can't even go that far. Okay, so we're going to Reindeer. To get to the ATM. Oh, you can't speed up this part with the B button. That's interesting. I would sing louder, but my throat hurts. It would probably be really bad. <laughs> and I'm also tired. <laughs> you know? Plus, I don't know the lyrics to this one either. I ha By the way, this is a dumb thing to brag about, but I have been able to get through this part of the game without... Um... Without using the train, like, because there's a bunch of enemies in the, in that little tunnel. Hi there. Is this the town where everybody has a cold? The old man in the mountain is so generous. He gave you as much as you can possibly carry. Yeah, that's right. Hey, that hat of yours just looks just like the one that Anna of Snowman has lost. If you to her, she may just reward you. I like the look of reindeer. I like all the, like... I don't know, I think it's a cool area. Remember where the next melody is? <laughs> as, as embarrassed as I am to admit that, I I don't remember where, like which one it is. <laughs> like the first three are so close together, and then you go such a long time without getting the fourth. Okay. Okay, right. I'm just gonna go get the, uh, the money. I'll just get 300 out. There's only one verse of this song that I can always remember. I'll, I'll need to... I'll need to study it more so I can sing it in later streams, maybe. <laughs> no! No, don't do that! Oh shoot. No! Let me leave. I beg of you. I'm being chased by a giant truck. Help. No! I actually can't escape this. Okay, yeah, the asthma attack thing sucks. Because you can't do anything about it. Hi hey Zeta. I'm dying at the moment. Man. Well, dang. Um, truck stuck. <laughs> All right, I might, I might just stop for now. Not really, to anything going on, but Mike would totally say something like, "Piracy is a crime." I download a pizza. Yep, I agree with that. I agree. I, I might just stop for now since I am very tired for talking for nearly three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Ugh. Yeah, this stream was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. Streaming this game has been a really nice time. I've been... Shame I had to miss some of it, though. Uh, you didn't miss much. It was just me being really quiet for a while. Okay. Oof. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll... See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.